God praise to that. Amen. This morning's scripture lesson will come from Psalms 150. Psalms 150 and it reads, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Indeed, this morning you have a reason to give God praise this morning. Amen. At this time, we have our scripture lesson for this morning. Excuse me, our prayer for this morning. Let us pray. Oh, gracious Father, we come thanking you, oh God, for one more day, oh God. 
Lord, we thank you, Father God, for one week, one more week, oh God, that you allowed us, oh God, to be in the house of worship, oh God. Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for just being God and being God all by yourself, oh God. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord God, to be with our children, oh God. Be with our families, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, be with our bishop, oh God, first lady, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord God, to be with our musicians. Oh God, have mercy upon them. Our praise team, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing in our lives and all that you're going to do, oh God. Lord, we praise you and we honor you, Lord. We magnify your name, oh God. Lord, we ask you to be with those in the nursing homes, oh God, and hospitals, oh God. Lord, we ask you to touch their body, oh God. Heal them as only you can, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, we just want to say thank you in advance, oh God, for what you're going to do, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. We honor you. We magnify you right now, oh God. Lord, we ask it all, oh God, in your son Jesus' name, Lord God. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and give God some glory. Hallelujah. We honor you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for the opportunity to be in your house today, God. Hallelujah. We're so grateful today. Hallelujah. Like the dew in the morning, gently rest upon my heart. Like the dew in the morning, gently rest upon my heart. Come on, anybody need a fresh touch? Say, like the dew in the morning. Come on, gently rest, gently rest upon my heart. Like the dew, like the dew in the morning. Come on, gently rest, gently rest upon my heart oh we say rest rest jesus rest jesus rest like the dew like the dew in the morning say rest rest oh rest lord rest oh rest like the dew in the morning my heart come on say it like the dew like the dew in the morning gently rest gently rest upon my heart oh upon my heart come on say it again like the dew like the dew in the morning gently rest gently rest upon my heart oh we say rest lord rest rest oh rest like the dew like the dew say rest do say rain lord rain oh rain say rain we 
like the dew in the morning gently rests upon my heart. Come on, say it again like the dew in the morning gently rests upon my heart. Come on, like the dew in the morning, like the dew in the morning. Come on, gently rest, gently rest upon my heart. Like the dew in the morning, like the dew in the morning. Gently rest, gently rest upon my heart. Come on and give him glory. Come on, give him honor. Give him worship. Give him praise. We need him today. Like the dew in the morning, we need him to rest on us. Anybody need more of his power, more of his spirit? More of his anointing. Come on, come on, come on. Ask for the rain. Say, God, I need you today. Can't make it without you today. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Rain. Rain on me. Say rain, rain, rain on me. Hallelujah. Say open. Yes, the windows of heaven. Come on, ask for the rain. Say, God, I need you to rain. Rain, rain on me. Rain on me. Hallelujah. Say open. The windows of heaven. One more time. Come on. Say rain on me. Rain. Hallelujah. Rain on me. Hallelujah. Say open. Open the windows of heaven. Come on. So the next part simply says open up the heavens. Pouring out a blessing, Lord, we need refreshing till it overflows. Open up the heavens, pouring out a blessing, Lord, we need refreshing till it overflows. You say, open up the Come on, pouring out. Lord, we need till it overflows. Come on, open up the heavens. Yes, pouring. Come on, what we need till it overflows. One more time, open. Come on, pouring out. Lord, we need till it overflows. Open up the heavens, yeah, pouring out. Come on, Lord, we need till it overflows. Come on, go back, say, rain. Hallelujah, come on, rain on me. Come on, say, God, I need you to open, yes, the windows of heaven, hallelujah, come on, say, rain on me, hallelujah, God, yeah, come on, say, open, open, the windows of heaven, yes, come on, we're going to the next part, you remember, open, open up the Pouring out, come on, Lord, we need till it overflows. Open up the heavens, pouring out, Lord, we need till it overflows. Open up the heavens, come on, pouring out, Lord, we need till it overflows. Open up the heavens, pouring out, Lord, we need. Till it overflows. Come on, open up the heavens. Pouring out. Lord, we need. Till it overflows. Open up. Pour us out. Lord, we need. Till it overflows. Open up the heavens. Hallelujah. Pour us out. God, we need refreshing. Till it overflows. Say, open up the heavens. Pour us out, Lord, we need till it 
fresh anointing today. Come on. Come on, ask for the rain. Say rain. Rain. God, I need you to move. I need you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, power. Come on, the windows of heaven. One more time, lift it up. Say rain. Hallelujah. Come on, ask for the rain. Ask for the favor of God. Hallelujah. Come on. Open the windows. Testing, testing, testing. We praise God today for each of you who are here. Got it now, sir. Uh, look at somebody and say, praise the Lord. Look at somebody and tell him it's good to see you in the house of the Lord. Amen. How many blessed people do we have in here? All the blessed people wave at me just a little bit. Amen. It's so good to see you today. Are you blessed? If you're blessed, just wave at me just a quick one. Amen. 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 Uh, God is so good. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will what? Rejoice and be glad. I refuse to let the devil steal my joy, steal my praise. Can I get two witnesses? Uh, just wave at me and just say, I refuse to let the enemy steal my joy. Amen. Because this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad. Amen. I need two people to say, I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed. I am just blessed. And I just praise God today for his grace and his mercy. We praise God for each of you. We honor the first lady, Dr. Peggy Johnson, unable to be with us today. Amen. I ask you to pray. God will bless. God will keep. God will bless us in so many, many ways. Amen. 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 If you're blessed, just wave at me just one time. Just wave at me. Just wave at me. Amen. God is so good, and we just praise God for this day. Uh, the Bible is clear. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will what? Rejoice and be glad. I, I, I need, I need a, a couple of people to just uh, wave at me and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I am blessed. I'm blessed. See, you see, the Bible says, let the redeem of the Lord what? You got to speak life. You got to speak life. You got to speak hope. You got to speak blessings. And sometimes we are waiting on somebody else to speak them over us, but we need to speak them over who? Ourselves. Uh, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. And we need to say, you know, the Lord agrees with his word. And, 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 and that's why the Bible it clearly let the redeem of the Lord say so. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord today uh, because it is a day that God has given us. And I believe God has given us a, a, a word for today that will bless you. And it will, I believe it will even bless you on in doing this week. It will bless you. Amen. I'm using, asking you to turn your Bibles today to the book of Second Chronicles, uh, chapter number 20. Second Chronicles, chapter 20. Uh, it is a, a important uh, 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 passage of Scripture that talks to us about where we are today. I'm using for a subject for today, the battle is not yours, but God. Can I, can I get a witness? 
uh, I, I, I laugh for uh, somebody to say that with me. The battle is not yours, but God. One more time. The battle is not yours, but God. One more time. The battle is not yours, but God. It's so important. It's so important for us to know that there are things that we are confronted with that uh, uh, we don't have to fight in that particular battle. Did anybody get that? There are some battles that are not our battles. Can anybody un understand what I'm saying there? There are some things that come in our life that we are to understand that the Lord will fight the battle for you. Matter of fact, if we get involved in it, we're getting in the way. We're getting in the way. Uh, now, somebody said, wow. Uh, but that's why the scripture says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. There are some battles that's not your battles. God permits them. God allows them. But God wants you to know how much he loves you and how much he is willing to do for you. And that's why it's challenging. It's challenging. Uh, uh, there are times when we have to uh, hear what the, 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 the Spirit is saying to us is uh, uh, set yourself. Be still. God says, I got this. Does he say that sometimes? Yeah. And he says, it. it's not your battle, it's my battle. And we need to understand that because uh, sometimes, uh, I hate to say this, but sometimes we get in the way. We get in the way. And you know, when we get in the way, we'll begin to take credit for things that we did not do. We're going to do a little bit of reading today uh, because I, I think this uh, subject and this Scripture applies, is applicable to us because we are fix-it people. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. <clears throat> we are fix-it people. We believe that if something goes wrong, we're supposed to fix it. But there are some things that the Lord wants us to know that we can't fix. Uh, can I get two witnesses? There are some things that the Lord wants us to know that he is going to have to fix for us. And we need to understand uh, that, uh, uh, that we are to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. We are to wait on the Lord. Let's, 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 let's go to the scripture. Uh, preachers, missionaries, mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers, we are all challenged by the enemy. I don't care how much good you're doing. I don't care how much uh, you do to bless people. Uh, uh, the enemy will come at you to stop you. Mm. And we have to know that we have a adversary. And, and, and the adversary, there are four objectives. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you that while, while we start now. Four objectives of Satan. Uh, his purpose Hallelujah is to uh, come at us. Uh, there are four things before I, I go to my scripture. Four objectives of Satan to draw us away from God. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. To stop God's purpose. Mm. Number three, to stop worship and glory that God deserves. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. And number four is to destroy us. Objectives of Satan. Hallelujah. Uh, these are things, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over that again because I want you to hear this. Because sometimes uh, we think it's us. We think it's our brother. We think it's our sister. We think it's uh, this person or that person. But it's uh, purely the devil. Scripture says he comes to steal, kill, and what? Sure. So the, 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 these four objectives, I, I, I want you to hear them again. Objective of Satan, hallelujah, his purpose, hallelujah. Number one, to draw us away from God by 
trick, by delusion, by lie, by what? To draw us away from God. Uh, number two, to stop God's purpose. Do you know God has a purpose for your life? Oh, hallelujah. Uh, number three, to stop worship and glory that God deserves. He wants you to start looking at yourself and take your eyes off of Offer of God and, and begin to look at other things. But I need to know, you need to know that God is in charge. And he is the key. He deserves the worship. He deserves the praise. He deserves the glory. And number four, to destroy us. Now, his, uh, as Satan come about to accomplish that, he uses three strategies Three strategies to deceive, number one, to divide, number two, and to destroy, number three. Satan is about making a mess. Three strategies to deceive, to divide, to destroy. That's why I've been teaching uh, for some time on the, 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 the need for uh, meditation. I've got to learn how to think on the Word of God. I've got to learn how to walk by the Word of God. I've got to learn how to live by the Word of God. Because if I meditate on God and His Word, it will do something for me that I really never expected. It'll quiet my spirit. Give me peace. It'll enlighten my mind. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. It'll increase my energy. Hallelujah, the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, no, no, number four, it will purify my heart. Meditating on the Word of God. Uh, purify my heart. Number five, it will enlarge my view of God. Oh, my goodness. God is awesome. Enlarge my view of God. Number six, it will increase my love for God. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, I think of what God is doing for me, God cares and he loves me. And, and, and finally, uh, number seven, it will strengthen my faith. It'll teach me how to trust God. It'll teach me how to wait on God. It'll teach me how to do what God has called me to do. Hallelujah. I, I wish you would do uh, one thing for me. Point at somebody and say purpose. 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 God has a purpose for your life. Let's, let's, let's go to uh, 2 Chronicles chapter number 12, uh, chapter number 20, excuse me. You know, no matter who you are, no matter how much you pray, no matter how much you read your Bible, the enemy is going to try to come at you and get you off. The Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. You have to know, you don't have to do nothing for the enemy to come after you. Let's, let's, this is a very interesting passage of Scripture that I, I, I want us to read. Second uh, Chronicles chapter, chapter number 20. Uh, if you have it, say amen. Uh, second, Corinthians, uh, second, second Chronicles, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, second Chronicles, do we have it now? Thank you, Jesus. You know, the devil will come to, the Bible says he come to kill, steal, and what? Amen. Second Chronicles chapter number 20. And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon with them, on the others, with them others beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Now, listen to this. You don't have to do anything for the enemy to come at you. You don't have to do anything for some people to come at you. You just have to know that you just have to live for the Lord. And hallelujah, there are some things that's going to come at you, and you have to recognize and know that the enemy comes to fight, and you have to stand on the word of God. Okay, uh, verse number two. Uh, uh, then there came some and told Jehoshaphat, uh, saying, there cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea uh, on the side of Syria. And behold, they be a Hazleton tomorrow, uh, which is Indica. Now, you know, sometimes I think we get confused because the enemy attacks us. 
and we think that we have done something wrong. We think it's something going wrong. No, the, the, the Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and what? Uh, you have to know that the enemy is going to come after you. Joseph had, and the people hadn't done anything wrong. And that's why you cannot take certain things personal. Hallelujah. Uh, you have to know, verse number 3, Second Chronicles chapter number uh, 20. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim and fast throughout all Judah. He would not done anything wrong, but now these nations are coming against him to try to stop it. Listen to my subject now. Remember my subject for today is the battle is not yours, but God. Uh, subtopic being the power of prayer. You got to know that if you live for the Lord, there are going to be things that the enemy will do. Joseph hadn't done anything. Now these nations are coming against him. Uh, look at somebody and say, don't take it personal. Don't, don't, don't take it personal. And Joseph, Joseph had fear and set himself to seek the Lord. The right thing that he did, he feared, but he got himself together and he sought the Lord. You know what? The Lord will tell you how to deal with your adversary. Sometimes the Lord said, be still. But you want to say, Lord, I can handle this one. Lord, I can take care of this. No, no, the Lord said, no, you be still and know that I'm God. You don't know what these folks are willing to do. And then, you know what? And you know why God wants us to be still? Because there are some things he wants you to know that he will do for you because he loves you. That's why the Bible is clear. The battle is not yours but the Lord. And you need to understand that I don't have to fight in this battle because the Lord is going to fight my battle for my child, for my family, for my finances. God will fight my battle. I want to just end it by, if, if you believe that, wave at me. God will fight your battle. Uh, Jehoshaphat feared, verse 3 said he feared, uh, uh, but he set himself to seek the Lord. Fear came, but he said, no, I'm going to pray. And he proclaimed a fast throughout all of Judah. Verse number 4, 2 Chronicles 20. And Ju Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. One of the things we have to learn to do is learn how to get a prayer through. Sometimes you don't know what to ask God for. You just get out and say, help, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Lift me, Lord. The more you pray, the more God will speak to you. The more he will speak through you. Listen to this. It's important for you to know this because so often when we get in trouble, we go looking for people. Uh, uh, I know they love you and they care about you, but sometimes they don't have the answer. Sometimes God wants you to just be still. God wants you to just hold your peace. God wants you to be quiet. God wants you to know that this is not your battle. This battle belongs to me. God wants you to know I'll fight your battle. And then when God tells you to do something, do it. But you need to know, as, as Jehoshaphat knew, I need to go to the Lord. Uh, talk to the Lord about it and find out before I go do something. Because I might get in the way. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah, verse number 5, and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. Okay, verse number 6. And he said, O Lord God of our Father, art not thou God uh, in heaven, rulest not over all the nations of the heathens, and, uh, and in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee? He gave God credit for who he was. He said, Lord, I know you're in charge. Do you ever pray that kind of prayer? Lord, I don't know what these folks are doing. I don't know what's going on, but I know you in charge. And that's why I'm coming to you. You know what? You don't have to spread your business all over and say, yes, yeah, such a person trying to do this to me. They're trying to do that. No, you go to the Lord. Prayer. The power of prayer. There's that power of 
prayer that we need to understand, hallelujah, that you must have uh, uh, the power of prayer. Hallelujah. There, 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 there's some steps to the power of prayer. Let me, let me, let me just uh, rehearse this uh, for somebody because you need to know that the power of prayer, you got to ask. The Bible says you have not because you what? Uh, you got to focus on God and not the problem. Are you, are, you, are you listening to what I'm saying? I got to focus on God and not the problem. Uh, uh, the king, he, he knew who was in charge. I don't care who come against you. If God is for you, they can't hurt you. Amen. Can I get one witness? And, uh, the next thing you need to understand as a part of this scenario is you need to remember that God is faithful. God's been faithful to you in the past. You're where you are because of the blessings of the Lord. Okay. Remember God's faithful. If he did it back there, he'll do it up here. And then the last thing you got to do as a part of the dependent is depend on God. And that's what this man did. Let's, 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 let's go back to verse number 6. Uh, uh, 2 Chronicles 20. And he said, O Lord God of our fathers, are not thou God in heaven and ruleth not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathens. Do you know God's got control of your enemy? And in thine hand is there not power and might so that what? None is able to withstand thee. Hallelujah. Verse 7. Art not thou our God? who didst drive us out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel and gave it to thy seed of Abraham, thy friend, forever. What he's saying is, everything we got, you gave it to us. And, and, and if you gave it to us, you know how to keep it. You know how to take care of what you gave to us. Verse number 8, 2 Chronicles 20. And they dwelt therein and have built the a sanctuary therein for thy name sin. If when evil cometh upon us as the sword, judgment, a pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in uh, this house, and cry unto thee in our afflictions, then thou wilt hear and help us. You know what he was saying? He was saying, Lord, I know you're faithful. Lord, I know you're going to take care of us. Do you know that? Do you know that God made you a promise and he cannot lie? What was the promise? He said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. The challenge is for us to call on him. The Bible says it like this. You have not because you were. You got to ask him. You got to ask him. You got to ask him. And sometimes you got to ask him two or three times. Not because he didn't hear you, but it helps you. See, some things we do for us, we think it's for God. Uh, but we, we need to uh, say them over and over. Uh, the Bible says it like this. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I know the Lord will make a way for me. Because, see, what's happening is the enemy is throwing fiery dots at you. Your child is going to, uh, this is going to happen to your family. This is going to happen to your job. The devil is a liar. And that's why you have to stand. And that's why the Bible said, let the redeem of the Lord say so. You got to see, God honors his word. And you know what else? His words helps me. It gives me strength. It gives me power. I have to, that's why the Bible, I've been talking about meditating on the word of God. We got to meditate on the word. Because the more I meditate on it, the more it helps me to remember. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Okay, uh, 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 let, let me go back to verse number nine. If when evil cometh uh, uh, upon us as a sword of judgment, pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear us. You know what he says? Lord, I know you're going to hear my prayer. Let me see the hands of you who know that God hear your prayer. Every believer needs to know that God hears your prayers. Hallelujah. Uh, verse number 
uh, he will hear our prayer and help us. Verse number 10. And now, behold, the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. See, there are times in our lives when God give us the upper hand on people. And God would say to us, now you got the upper hand on him, but leave him alone. See, when, when uh, God gave the people this land, there were other people there. But God said, just, just don't bother them. Just, I'm, just know that this is your land. You know what? There are times when you do right about people and they flip on you. They flip on What are we to do? Do what your host fat does. Pray. Say, Lord, I did what was right. I'm trusting you. I'm believing you. I'm astounding you because God will fight your battle. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And listen to this. There's some battles you don't need to fight. There, there's some battles you don't need to get in because you get too dirty, you get too nasty. God said, let me, let, let, let me take care of this. Because if God be for you, see, God gave the children of Israel, this land. See, if God give you something, uh, the Bible says it like this, no weapon for what? Form shall prosper. Just because people acting funny, acting crazy, trust God. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. What he gives you, he gives you, and he's able to keep you from falling. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you uh, uh, Joseph said, uh, we could have destroyed these nations when we came through to uh, conquer this place here. But you told us to leave them alone. So, you know what? There, there, there's some things that God tells us to do that we don't quite understand and we want to do. Our thinking tells us there's another way to handle it. But you know what you need to do? Go back and pray. Because you know what? The enemy wants you to get involved and do something that you got no business doing. He wanted to see the Lord said there's some things that I don't want you involved in. Oh, somebody missed that. There, there are some mess. There are some ugly, filthy mess. The Lord said, I don't want you involved in that. The Lord said, I got, I got a plan for that. Are you listening to me? And, and that, that's why he said, be still and know that I'm God. And sometimes he'll, he'll help people to destroy themselves. He have other people to come and destroy. Because, see, you are, listen to this, you are special. You are anointed. You have a light that has to shine. And there's somebody that's aware of you. And they are learning from you. They're learning how to hold their peace. They're learning how to be quiet. They're learning how not to pick up the, uh, a, a rock every time somebody say something to them and want to sling it. They're, they, they, they're learning that they got to put the stick down. And, and understand that the Lord is saying, this ain't your battle. The Lord said, I got a plan for this. The Lord said, you don't need to do nothing but watch this one. Can I get a witness? You need to understand that if you belong to the Lord, the Lord, the Bible says like this, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. God will take care of you. The latter clause of verse number 10, but they turn from them and destroyed them not. Verse number 11. Behold, I say how thou reward, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession. Lord, you gave us, you gave us this, which thou hast given it to us for her. See, they were trying to take something. Listen to this. Nobody can take from you what the Lord has given you but you. You can reject it. But there's some things that God has given you, can't nobody bother it, can't nobody touch That's why some people look at you and say, I don't know how she do it. I don't understand. I got more education than she got. Matter of fact, I got more education than I got a better job than she got. I, 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 I don't know. But look at her, she's blessed. And you know what? If God be for you, listen to this, all that other stuff really don't what? He make you the head and what? Above and not beneath. And, and, and folks look at you and say, how does she do it? Every time I see her, she's looking good. 
Every time I see her, she's saying something positive. She's not complaining. She's not crying. She's not uh, putting somebody down. You know what? The, 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 the putting people down and getting involved in people mess is a, listen to the word I'm finna use, a distraction. I wish I get three people say distraction. I'm not going to let you distract me when I'm supposed to be over here doing something. God got some miracles. He got some blessings over here for me. I'm distracted following you up. I wish two people got that. Uh, I'm, I'm bogged down in you, and God got some stuff here for me, but I, I'm, I'm over here fighting you, worrying about what you're doing, worrying about what you're doing. You can't stop a child of God. I, I got scripture for this. The Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall what? And you have to know, hallelujah. That's why Jehoshaphat, when he realized the enemy that he was up against, he knew, I need to go to the Lord about this. He didn't say, we need to uh, fortify the army. Get some more people trained. See if we can buy some more guns. See if we can do this, see if we can do that. See if I can get some of my friends. You know what? God and you are a, I, I wish you remember this ne 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 next Friday. Uh, God and you are a majority. Remember that all this week. God and you are a majority by yourself. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. Uh, God gave them the land. And now these people coming to take the land. Who should he go to? Go back to God. Because, see, his plan might not work. Okay, let me read verse 11 again. Behold, I say, how thou reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. Verse number 12. Our God, will thou not judge them? Everybody need to see that verse, verse number 12, the first clause. Our God, will thou not judge them? See, there's some things I got to learn to talk to God about. Because sometimes, I, I, I'm not talking about nobody here, but sometimes some folk can get so mad that they see what? Stars? You ever heard that before? Sometimes we can get so angry till we can't even think straight. Maybe you know somebody like that. Maybe you know somebody that was that way one time. But, uh, but, but, but you have to know, sometimes the Bible says the enemy comes in like a flood. If the Spirit of the Lord is not there, you go upside somebody's head so fast. You say something, you say, did I say that? Are you listening to me? I got to trust God because God's got a plan. If God say you are the head and not the tail, you are the head and not the tail. Above only. And no weapon for him. Now, listen, listen to what Jehoshaphat does something that's very intelligent in verse number 12. He said, oh, our God. He talks to God. He doesn't talk to his friends about it. He talks to God. Oh, our God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh uh, against us. Neither know we what to do. But our eyes are upon thee. Well, that's a powerful verse there. He said, he goes to God. He said, Lord, you judge them. For we have no might because all these nations had come against God's people. And he said, we have no might against them. Neither we don't know what to do. But we are looking at you. We trust in you. We're standing. I want to see anybody here trusting the Lord, looking at the Lord. Just wave at me just quickly. Trust in God. I don't have it figured out, but I know he's got a plan. Somebody tell the Lord thing. Verse number 13. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their uh, little ones, their uh, wives, and their children. Verse number, four, verse number 14. And then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, uh, 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 a Levite, the son of Asap, uh, uh, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Listen to that. You know, the Lord, the Lord has an answer. Verse number 15. And he said, Hearken ye all Ju Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you. Listen, listen, listen to what the Lord says to them in, in verse number 15. Be not afraid, 
nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. Lord said, it's, they outnumbering you all. Don't be afraid. Uh, he said, by the, uh, 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 upset by the reason as much. As, and look, look, look what he says in the latter clause of verse number 15. For the battle is not yours, but God. Wow. You outnumbered. They got more money. They got more power. They got more clout. They got more education. They, they got more weapons. They got everything. They got older. But he said, uh, uh, don't be dismayed. Don't look at that. Don't look at the numbers. Don't look at, don't start counting. He said, the battle is not yours. I wish you point at somebody and say, it's not your battle. Uh, uh, say it again. Point at them this time and say, yeah, I'm talking to you. I, 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 did, I didn't make a mistake pointing at you. I meant to point at you. Uh, uh, tell them, say, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for the battle is not yours, but God. Uh, isn't it a wonderful thing for God to say to you, you don't have to fight in this battle. Set yourself. Be still. Hold your peace. Don't say nothing. Hallelujah. They want you to respond. They want you to act out. But just hold your peace. Walk in peace. And you know what? That upsets them. Look what I did to her. She didn't even respond. He didn't say nothing. And they might try to do something else, but ignore it. Ignore it. Because if God be for you, the battle is, remember my subject today, the battle is not yours, but God. Uh, stop following them folks up. Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't even pay them folks up. Uh, listen, listen, listen to this. Uh, verse number 16. Tomorrow go ye down against them, and behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness. Lord, tell them uh, wilderness of Jeriel. The Lord will tell you where your enemy coming. He'll tell you what to do. He'll tell you he'll just uh, they'll, they'll be down there, but don't 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 worry about it. Lord might be telling you, say your boss uh, thinks she's gonna get rid of you, but uh, she finna lose her job. Are, are, you, are, you, are you listening? Uh, they think they finna take you out, but you finna get a promotion. Are you listening to me? Uh, 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 listen, verse number seventeen is a key verse. In this message today, look, look, look at this verse, verse number 17. Uh, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Wow. You mean you're going out to battle and you won't need to fight? Well, Lord, let me just take my peace just in case you, just in case something come up. Uh, can I, I, just, I won't take all three of my pieces. I'll just take, can, can I just take one? The Lord said, no, 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 no. If you do, you're going to be dependent on that. You know what? God has a plan. And you know what he says here that's so, so powerful? Can you imagine him saying you're going to war, but you won't need to what? Fight. Wow, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Then he tells them, set yourself. Get your seat. Set yourself. Stand still. Stand right there and watch and see the salvation of the Lord with you. Know that God is on your side. You're going to see God do something for you that lets you know that you are. Are important. That's why uh, it's important for you to remember the, 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 the title of this message today. The battle is not yours, but God. And the, uh, the subtopic being the power of prayer. If you can pray, say, you should not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand you still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not. Look at somebody and say, fear not. Now be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with them. I'm going to ask you to read the rest of this chapter in your leisure. 
because you need to see it yourself, how God will fight for you. Uh, can I ask you to say something to your neighbor for me? Uh, we used to say that, preachers, uh, some time ago, tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. But I just want you all to tell your neighbor one thing today. Tell your neighbor you are important. You are, uh, wait, wait a minute. Look at him again. Uh, tell him you are important. Uh, uh, one more time. Look him in the eye and say, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. You are important. You need to know. God told me to tell you he know how to fight your battle. If you hold your peace and wait on him and let him do it and give him the praise and do what he tell you to do. I'm going to let you read the rest of this chapter because it's so important. You need to see it. How, listen to this. There are times in our lives when an uh, uh, enemy will come at us and another enemy come over there. The Lord will, will get them confused. They'll end up destroying each one. Are you blessed? Let me see all the blessed people. Raise your hand here. Raise your hand. Hallelujah. I know I'm blessed because, hallelujah, the battle is not mine. The battle belongs to the Lord. The power of prayer. And remember, there are four things that happen in this passage of Scripture uh, that I have read to you today and expounded on. There, 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 are, there are four things that you must do uh, in order to be successful in this uh, venture, in this type of venture. Uh, because Jehoshaphat gives us an example. He gives us a blueprint of what we need to do in order to win, in order to be successful. The first thing uh, that we must do is seek the Lord. Got to seek the Lord. Well, let me go down and talk to my mama. Your mama's a sweet person. She loves you. She's going to tell you everything she can. Your daddy's going to tell you everything he can. But there's some things that mama and daddy can't help me with. It's not that they don't love me. If they had the answer. See, we need to understand that God has a plan. He said, come bold into the throne of grace that you might find help in the time of trouble. Mama mean good, but mama don't have all the answers. Mama don't know God's going to make a way out of nowhere. Mama don't know, hallelujah, that God's got a miracle with your name on it. So you have to understand that, hallelujah, the first thing you must do is seek the Lord. Well, let me talk to my mama about it. Your mama said, honey, uh, don't worry about that. I, I, I think I got enough money to help you with that. And you say, oh, mama, okay, well, I won't, I won't do anything. Else. She come back uh, uh, three or four days later and say, uh, uh, I thought I had money, but I, I had to give it to your brother. He got to you before I did? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. His problem was bigger than yours. It couldn't have been bigger than my mama. It couldn't have been. It couldn't have been. But the Lord, mama said, yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> Tell me what it is. No, I'm not going to go into that with you. You see, you got to trust God. You got to trust God. And here, God has a plan. First thing, hallelujah, you got to do is seek the Lord. Instead of relying on his ability, Jehoshaphat went to the Lord. And you got to learn to do that instead of talking to people. Hallelujah. Number two, hallelujah, focus on God and not the problem. You got to focus on God and not the problem. The king acknowledged the Lord was ruler over all the kingdoms and no one could stand against him. Isn't that a powerful thought to have? That, 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 that God's in charge. Uh, uh, look at somebody and say, God's in charge. God's in charge. God's in charge. Uh, so I can, I, I can focus on him and not the problem because he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I ask, I think. I need somebody. The Lord told me to tell somebody here to bless. Say, bless my family. Come on, come on. Say it loud. Bless my family. 
One more time, but bless my family. Okay, so he sought the Lord. He focused on God and not the problem. And now, now the third thing he did was he remembered God's faithfulness. Now, as you read the rest of this chapter in your leisure time, God's going to send them out to battle. And you know what? God will send you to battle, and he'll fight the battle what? For you. I'm going to give you some, some, some homework. God, God, God. The enemy that came against God's people destroyed each other. Somebody said, how could that happen? Folk get confused. If God's on your side, you know, that's, that's why you have to be aware that everybody that bless you don't understand what they are doing. I, I need to say that again. Everybody that bless you don't know because if some folk knew they were blessing you, do you think they would? Let's just be real. God will make folk bless you that don't even realize what to do. And, 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 and you feel you got to go and explain it to them. No, you just leave that alone. That's God's business. Uh, can I get one amen on that? Amen. See, God will have folk to bless you and, and do things for you that they don't even really understand. Sometimes, uh, brace yourself, brace yourself. Sometimes they think they're hurting you, but they're blessing you. Are you, are, are you listening to me? Sometimes they think they got their foot on you, but they, they ain't got their foot on you. They, they, they bless you. You, you understand? See, if God be for you, hallelujah. The Bible says like this, no weapon form shall prosper. The nations were coming out to destroy God's people. And what they ended up doing was destroying one another. They got the Lord, had them confused. Your enemy is the same way. If God be for you, I'm trying to quit. If God be for you, he's more than the whole world against you. These nations that came against God's people, these people that are coming against you, if God's on your side, they cannot harm you. Sometimes they think they harm you and they're blessing you. Can you imagine somebody... Blessing you and not know they bless you. God knows just what he's doing. Uh, so the four things that I, I'm trying to close on. Uh, Jehoshaphat sought the Lord. Number two, he focused on God and not the problem. See, we put too much attention on the problem and not God. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. So focus on God, his ability, his power. His anointing, his blessings. Hallelujah. Focus on God, number two, and not the problem. Number three, remember God's past faithfulness. He said, you know what? If it weren't for the Lord, we wouldn't be where we are today. Can I get one witness in here? If it weren't for the Lord, uh, uh, brace yourself. Brace yourself for what I'm going to say. There's some folks wrote you off a long time ago. And they, they don't understand how you're doing. And, and every now and then, the, the Lord will show them that she's doing better than you are. Don't hold it against nobody. But understand that uh, if God be for you, remember God's faithfulness. Remember where he brought you from. Remember what he's done for you. And, and finally, depend on God. Well, I'm going to go over here and see if I can get Billy to help me. Two of us should be able to take that person out. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, depend on God. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. As I prepare to close today, I don't care what you are going through. I don't care what the enemy is doing to distract you or to come at you. Understand, he only has three twos that he primarily uses. He, he used deception, division, and he wants to destroy us. But if I can learn to meditate on God's word, I'm going to be all right. Because meditation quiets my spirit. It enlightens my mind. 
It increases my energy. It purifies my heart. It enlarges my view of God. I see him in a different way. It increases my love for God. And it strengthens my faith. As I close today, I want everybody to stand. Let's pray a special prayer. Uh, if you don't mind, hallelujah, I'd just like you to stand just for a moment. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. If you don't mind, it, it, of course, everybody's not near somebody. Amen. Uh, lift your hands to the Lord. Just lift your hands to the Lord and tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. For every battle you fought for me, thank you. Somebody tell him, thank you. For every battle you're going to fight for me, Lord. For every obstacle you moved out of the way. Thank you for giving me a praise when the devil wanted me to lose my mind. Thank you for giving me a praise when my friends didn't understand where I was or what I was doing. But Lord, I thank you. Somebody said, Lord, I thank you. I didn't lose my mind. I didn't lose it, Lord. I, hallelujah. I learned to praise you. I learned to take you at your word. I learned to say hallelujah anyhow. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, bless me to remember today that the battle is not mine, but the battle is yours. And bless me to remember the power of prayer, to pray for my loved ones, hallelujah, to pray, Lord, and don't faint, to pray, Lord, and don't give up, to pray, Lord, and believe you for miracles. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I wish I could get somebody to say thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for making the darkness light before me. For Thank you, Lord, for bringing the high places down. Lord, I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. Bless me, Lord. Bless my family. Bless this church, Lord. Bless this congregation. Hallelujah. Bless. Hallelujah. And bless me to remember the battle is not mine, but it's yours. And you didn't bring me this far to leave me. Lord, I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. Hallelujah. Lord, bless my family. Somebody say, bless my family. Come on, somebody say, bless my family. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I need somebody say, bless my finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless my mind, hallelujah. Bless my heart, bless my spirit, that I might walk according to your word. Oh, God, protect me, Lord. Protect my family. Protect my children. Hallelujah. Protect my family, Lord. God, I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. Bless me to remember, Lord, that you said you'd never leave me. You said you'd never forsake me. And bless me, Lord, to walk by faith and not by sight. And know that, hallelujah, you have a plan for every step of my life. God, I love you and I give you praise. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody give the Lord a hand to pray. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is with me. He has done great things. 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 Bless his soul. 
from the top. Bless the Lord. I just want to bless the Lord. I just want to bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his home. He has done great things. One more time. He has done great things. 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 Can we go into hallelujah and then Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the Lord, lift your hands to the Lord. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time you've given us to come together. Father, bless us by your spirit, by your anointing. Keep my family, keep the families. I want somebody to say, keep my family. Keep my loved ones. I want somebody to say, bless my finances. Bless my body, my mind. Bless my loved ones. And Lord, I'll give you praise. I'll give you the honor. I'll give you the glory. And Lord, if you just keep your hands on me, keep your hands on me and my family, my children, my grandchildren, my brothers, my sisters, my siblings. Father, bless me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless us, hallelujah, to have faith to believe. And give us the power to resist the devil. You said that we resist him, he'll flee. God, I love you and I give you praise. Bless us now in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you. Thank you, praise team. Thank you, these wonderful ladies singing. We want to, at this time, be a blessing to the house of the Lord.